I, as a woman, will wear no sleeveless dress outside of my home. Neither will I wear fashion which appear immodest. Bob said we should dress modestly. Is that right? I will always abstain from those things that would appear evil to my brethren in the church and to unsaved. Bob said that um, we should be careful for nothing. I will never forsake the assembling together of ourselves, but will be present at every service except a time when I find it quite impossible to attend. And I always say this is the one that God will not judge us. And church going on home, watch TV and all these other stuff. But remembering that we, we say that we'll never forsake the assembling together for ourselves. I will not take evil report against an elder or any member of my assembly, but will always seek to prove the things I hear before I accept the same. We should not learn to judge people. We should prove the things that we don't understand. And even if it's not your business, you don't have to go up to it either. Praise the Lord. I will never allow myself to be found thinking or judging corrupt thoughts of any of God's people, but will always think the best of things I cannot understand until I am able to prove otherwise. Because some people love to carry rumors. They just want to hear like something and it's spread all over the place. And these things are not right. I will not take my brother or sister in the law before the law courts, but will always take them to the church in matters where I find it impossible to settle by myself. Amen. We don't believe in running to the court to the unjust judge. We believe that they should settle matters among ourselves in the church. I will have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but I will always approve the wrong I happen to discover in any member of my assembly. If no amendment, I will take two or three others to help adjust the matter. Then, if this fails to bring the desired results, I will take the matter to the church immediately. What this is saying, you will have no fellowship with the full work of darkness, but you will try to reprove them. Don't be a man partaker of the things which is wrong. If anyone say or do things which is wrong, don't be a partaker. And if you overtake somebody that did something, first of all, go to the person alone. And talk to that person. You don't have to call anybody else on the phone. Talk to the person. You see the person. Talk to the person. If no amendments, you take two or three with you. And if not, then you take him to the church. So you see what's really happening here. Amen. We should not go quickly to your pastor over every little thing where you can make it right by yourself. Praise the Lord. Is that right, dear ones? You should take the person, the person alone. And if the person don't listen, are still doing the same thing, bring two or three with you. And if he's still doing the same thing, bring him to the church. And the church will deal with it I will never yoke together with an unbeliever by marrying him or her after I am saved. We call that unequally yoke. I as a woman will never exercise leadership or use of authority over the man in the spirit-filled church. But this really meant that the woman, amen, the man is the head of your home and the man is the head of the church. Amen. And they, they, in, in, every, in every church, according to the word of God, the women know their place. You should not try to put down even your very husband in the church, talk down to them, and, and, and you, you know, let them feel so small. That's why Paul was telling the Corinthians women that they should keep silent in the church. And if they want to learn anything, let them ask their husband. So the Bible said the man is the, is the head. Amen? Praise the Lord. Upon the first day of the week, I will always pay tithes and offering of money and other things as God had prospered me during 
the week, and we read that every single day. Malachi tells us that we rob God in tithes and offering. Amen. But when you give God the tenth, if you work a hundred dollars, you should give God ten dollars. Only ten dollars to ask you for. And you'll be surprised that God just bless you. Amen. Amen. I will always share with the other saints a part of the financial or other obligation of my assembly whenever I am called upon to do so. I will always give due respect to those who are above me in the work of the Lord, whatever may be their <laughs> office. We should respect our leaders and those who have authority over us, what the Bible said, and we should obey the word of God. And that's the only way you're going to bless. We cannot ignore the word of God. I will never rebuke an elder, but will admonish him as a father. You don't talk to your elder like you're talking to your, your, your schoolmate. Amen? You should have due respect. And that's my mother always telling me, man, take you through the world. And when I wonder, I wonder what she's talking about. But as you go, you understand what they're talking about. <coughs> When you have manners and respect, everybody loves you. Praise the Lord Jesus. Lord. When you have no manners and no respect, if there's nobody that they want to call your name, you're going down. I will not adorn myself with jewelry. We're talking about the jewelry, unnecessary jewels, too, as long as you have your wedding band. Amen? Amen. But unnecessary jewels, that's what they use to make golden calves and idols. And they worship those things. When Moses came down from the mountain and saw all that they did in a short time, the Bible said Moses just threw down the, the tablets because he's so frightened. How could they do such a in such a short time? I started to worship idols and say, This is what bring us out of Egypt. Praise the Lord Jesus. And anything that you love more than God is idols. And anything that you can't give up for God, that's Idol. Praise the Lord Jesus, everybody. Praise the Lord. I, as a woman, will cover my hair whenever praying or prophesying. Some churches, they go, the, the women don't cover their hair, they ignore the word of God completely. But pause it whenever time you are praying or prophesying. Your head should be covered. I, as a man, will not wear my hair. Long first one that's 11 14 16. Amen. The men must always cut their hair groom. Amen. We don't believe that men should braid their hair or, or we call the one ponytail and all these other stuff. We believe that as long as you become the saint, amen. Because we are representatives of Jesus Christ. Somebody worship the Lord Jesus. Here. Somebody give the Lord a praise. Somebody give the Lord a praise here. Somebody worship the name of Jesus. Somebody worship the name of Jesus. Somebody give the Lord a praise here. Amen. Those of you who are here, just raise your right hand. Raise your right hand before the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. Amen. And repeat after me, if you're willing, say, I will. Somebody worship God here and give the Lord a praise. All right, we're going to receive them right now. Amen. Into the Bethany Apostolic Church. Starting from our offices, quickly, the evangelist, Elder. Name of Jesus, quickly. Come, evangelist. 